have arrived in New Zealand Auckland after the 14 hour haul from LA. Uh, the kids are great, we had a big sleep last night and just caught up with some of the, the guys here in New Zealand to do with AFL and uh, it all seems really positive. Yeah, footy's been played over here for 130, 140 years. Uh, probably kicked off with the, the gold mining rush back in uh, the 1800s. And uh, we're just seeing a bit of a renaissance now. Yeah, over the last two years, we've started to develop uh, AFL Kiwi Kick, which is a sister program to AFL uh, Auskick. And over that period, we started with zero uh, two years ago, and now that's grown to 30,000 kids, participants. Yeah, already we've got a couple of kids that have been signed by AFL clubs. Hawthorne has set up uh, uh, an agreement with us called Hands Up. Uh, Hawks Australia New Zealand and the whole focus of that is about not only about eventually seeing some AFL games over here with Hawthorne participating but also they've been looking at uh, junior development assisting us with that. Today I'm taking New Zealand for a training session in their preparation for the International Cup. Uh, they've been in the final for the last uh, three tournaments so I, I'm sure they're going to be strong again. Uh, there's, there's something about uh, the Kiwis and uh, something in their belly and in their heart that I love the way they play sport and um, I'm sure these guys are going to be no different. When you're not at training, when you're at work or at uni or whatever you're at, it's okay to be as quiet as a mouse and have a quiet personality. But when you step on the training track and when you're playing, you need to use your voice. What I love about footy is just the, the physical and mental challenge that it has. I think it's a lot higher than the other sports. Such a long game and such more running and things like that. It kind of challenges you a lot more than rugby and the other sports that I've played. Playing for New Zealand International Cup, it makes me feel really great, really. <laughs> Playing for New Zealand the International Cup is a um, yeah, great honour. Um, it's quite hard to represent New Zealand in any sport and being a, um, given the opportunity to represent New Zealand in um, AFL is yeah, just, just taking a heart a bit and it makes me really proud. And what I love about footy is uh, being able to play with a, a bunch of great mates. Hearing the anthem and doing the haka, it's, um, yeah, it's a proud thing. I uh, can't really describe it, but it makes me proud to be a Kiwi. Playing for my country, representing New Zealand, um, is by far and away the, the proudest moment of my sporting career. I've been playing sports since I can remember and I always dreamed of somehow wearing the silver fern. I remember uh, talking to my family that night and just, uh, yeah, my mum was pretty, pretty emotional about it. She loved it too. She knew there was something that I'd been aiming for pretty much my whole life. So to finally do it. And Haka we uh, we perform before every game is um, is basically uh, traditionally it's it's a challenge laid down to the opposition it's um, it's a it's a, it's actually shows a lot of respect to our opposition. <laughs> Once you get a bunch of Kiwis together and say, right, we're going to go and play tiddlywinks, we want to make sure we do a good job. The kids uh, in New Zealand, are, are, like I said, are very similar to uh, Australia and uh, because of the freedom with, with Aussie rules, uh, the kids seem to enjoy it uh, a lot. Uh, I love the 360 degree aspect of it, uh, the fact that you never know what's coming next. Um, it takes a little bit more athleticism. Uh, the smaller blokes can get involved, which is a little bit better than rugby.
Um, and I love kicking the football. I never got to do that so much. I think I had one or two kicks in my, in a, during a game in my rugby career. One of the big challenges that New Zealand faces is that rugby's ingrained in their culture. It's the national sport. And as you can see behind me, uh, there's a countdown clock to the World Cup. But in saying that, only t over two years now and there's 30,000 kids uh, participating in after school and school programs. So that's how quickly it can grow. Uh, there's four million people here and there's some real athletes. So there is a possibility that, um, yeah, this could really take off here. Well, it's the last morning as we head out here of Auckland and, wow, we've had a wonderful time. We'll get together back in Sydney and uh, we'll, we'll reflect about our journey, but thanks so much for being a part of it. We've loved it. We've loved sharing. Oh, there's, a, there's other kids that carry on like the Kirk kids. Playing a game at the moment called Who Can Be The Quietest? Sorry, no more Kirk's Odyssey. We might go around the world one more time, but we hope we, hope we get much more. We, we might be fine, but we hope we can show you much more things about the world. Peace out.